to play. Uh, when were she born? Yes. No, when, when was born? born girl? Girl? When, when was? When was? Hi, teacher. When was she born? No. <laughs> teacher, no. Como es? When your baby was born. <laughs> How do you say? Um, cuando nació la niña o cuando nació tu hija. Okay, we're talking about a baby, right? A girl. Okay, let me uh -huh. show you. Was. Right, uh, right is uh, when were she born? No, when was. Uh -huh. When was. ¿Verdad, teacher? How many no. girls are we talking about? When. Uh -huh. Was. was. She was the bar. Ah, estaba, ya estaba en lo correcto. Because we are only, we are talking about yeah. one girl. Exactly. So it means she. Va. Es que las mujeres tenemos la razón y yo no sé por qué ellos no la entienden. Uh, I e and she was was ajá. Ajá, ajá, ajá. When it, was she born? It's... When were they born? In that case, we're going to use where. How about okay. with a I? <laughs> Con el sujeto I. Lo utilizaría. Hey, when? Here. when? 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 It was. Like this one. No, I was. When I was born. Like this one? I bought. Was I born? Y para preguntarle cuántos años tiene la la bebé. Okay, this is another WH question. How old is your daughter or baby? It can be baby. Daughter. Or how old is your daughter? Okay. All right. How old is she? How old is your daughter? It's the same. Okay. Your daughter. All right. It depends on the question that you want to make, right? But it's the same Thank information. You so, much. so you see, this is very okay. useful mm -hmm. because we are using the simple present tense in WH words. So. Mm -hmm. Hi, class. How are you today? Hi. Hi, thank you, Andrew. I'm fine. I'm pretty, I'm pretty good today. Can you give me a different response? How do you feel today? I want to listen to you. Very nice. You feel I am nice sick today? today. I feel sick today. Okay. I, I am sick today. You're sick. <laughs> I feel sick today. You feel sick yeah. for it. Cesar sick forever. <laughs> no, okay. eh, tengo right. three, three days. COVID, COVID. Migraine. Oh, really? Uh, Migraine. That, that's horrible. Three days, three days. I'm sorry for you. Yes, I'm so sorry to hear that. It's a very strong pain. Severe, severo, le llamaría, no fuerte, severo. Yes, tell me. Hasta mareado, ¿sí? Yes, exactly. You feel dizzy. You feel dizzy. Uh, you don't want Now to... Si has... uh -huh. okay, Now si has... Has... No, si has... Se te nubla la vista, te molesta el ruido, la luz te molesta, los olores te molestan. Okay. Yes, Walter, tell me, please. ¿Cómo se dice en inglés? Viruela del Moro. Ah, la, la nueva. Ya, ya. Sí, es la nueva. Es la nueva cepa que ha salido, ¿verdad? Es my y, del... Ya está en los Estados Unidos. Fever, fever Viruela del Monkey. No, pero... Pero él está diciendo viruela, no fiebre. Viruela del ah. Monkey. No, viruela. 
Mira, oye, güey. La primera vez que veo a Walter riéndose. ¿Ve? Y le está gozando. O, o Monkey Viruela, no sé. O sea. Monkey. Monkey Pox, Monkey Pox, yes, tiene que ver con Monkey, yes, Monkey, monkey Pops. Sí, Monkey Pops. Monkey Pops, sí, Viruela wow. Maya, que como es. Parece, parece el nombre de sorbete. Yeah, <risa> yeah, <risa> right? <risa> Del Pop, <risa> no. Parece <risa> Viruela no Pox, Mon oye, Boston. <risa> oh, ok, Monkey Pox, Virus, wow, monkey interesting. Pox. Yeah, right. you know. Eh, this is actual information. Siempre traten de leer de todo. Eso es bueno. You know, in my case, I try to read a lot. For example, today uh -huh. I, I was reading about eh, the UFOs. ¿Saben qué es eso? Los UFOs. 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 Yes. yes. Small pups, viruela. Yeah, monkeypox virus, yes. Okay. So. I was reading about eh, lo, lo, el tema que está ahorita, ¿verdad? De los... ¿Cómo se le dice en español? Objetos voladores no identificados. That's OVNIs. OVNIs. There you go, Walter. Thank you. So you see, try to read in English so you can get a lot of vocabulary. That's it. So you see, today we learn how to say la... ¿Qué era la monkeypox? I <laughs> forgot in Spanish as well. So we learn how to say that in English, monkey, fox, virus. So, monkey interesting, fox. right? Más me, me suena el nombre de alguna, de alguna marera de aquí. Nah, come fox. on, don't say that, don't say that. <laughs> no, so let's move on to the class. We better move on to the class. So I want to see your cameras on. I really want to see you guys. See? I'm still missing some of the girls and boys who doesn't have the camera on. Okay. So, Anne Stephanie, she's not able to turn it on. How about Gerson, Roxana, Pablo? No. Okay, let me do Teacher, something. Uh, yeah. oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Perdón, me silencié. Yes, Pablo. En un, yes. un momentito la conecto porque estoy eh, llegando. Okay, thank you so much for letting me Gracias. know. How about eh, Herson and Roxy? I want to listen to you. Are you still there? Yes, right? Porque se me corta, está lloviendo fuerte acá. Okay, very good job. So, Tengo what, débil señal, teacher. Oh, I imagine. What were we practicing yesterday? What was the topic from yesterday? Or the last activity from yesterday? Mm -hmm. Simple past, but we were giving some extra information with the simple past. Was. Was. Mm -hmm. Was, was, where, where and um, WH did work and did very good. Indeed. When Indeed. are we going to use was and where? When are we going to use was and where? Mm -hmm. Um, <laughs> yes. <laughs> Se les estamos hablando del verbo to be. Estamos, estamos hablando del pasado del verbo to be. Exactly. Uh -huh. And when are we going to use the auxiliary did? Para todos los demás. There Fernando, S-O-S. There, -S. There, S There we go. Esa mm -hmm. es la definición que quiero. Así recuérdenlo. Of course, mm -hmm. we are using information that it has to be with the verb to be. In the past, we are going to use was and were. But if we want to express some ideas in the simple past, and we have some other verbs, but not the verb to be, we are going to use deal. 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 That's it. Very good job. So, 
Let's go to the platform. Yesterday, I told you I am going to pick some of the exercises from the platform and I'm going to ask you those questions in order to see if you are ready to give me that information. Especially, we are going to practice with the simple past, right? Because I guess you already know about the simple present and all of the topics that we have been discussing. But when we come to the simple past, this is just the beginning of that topic, right? It's a very wide topic, a muy amplio, muy extenso, wide topic. So let's go to the platform and let me see. Okay, here we go. I'm going to check the attendance list in a moment, okay? Not right now. Here we go. Chicos, ¿a qué módulo van a pasar? ¿Qué módulo vamos a ir ya? Al cuatro. Intermedio. Módulo uno. Módulo uno. Este que tengo acá. Uy, matching. Preintermedio uno también. Sí. Wow, interesting. Voy a tener ese curso también con otro grupo. Espero Ay, con nosotros tener. no. Dejaremos de ser que, ah, eh, aún, aún no me han. No, si este, este grupo ya lo di un montón de veces. Eh, a su grupo. No hay este seguimiento, grupo, ¿verdad, teacher? No han asignado todavía docentes a esta hora para este grupo que viene, right? So hopefully, okay. yes, I'm going to be here. Don't worry. So let's finish with this one. This is your course. Let's go to section number five. And let's try to finish with the topics today. So tomorrow we can have a review about the final exam, final exam topic. Here we go. Okay, this is the video that we were watching yesterday. Guess it is this one, WH questions with did, was, and were. So, You were also practicing this type of information at the beginning of this class. And if you see, when we make questions with the simple past, we need an auxiliary, okay? So what is the auxiliary that we are going to use with the simple past for interrogative? We can use? Did. Did. Or we can also have a WH word and what or where. So that is the structure that we are going to follow. So let me show you. Some of you, um, I guess there were like five students who were asking me about this one. ¿Cómo hago entonces una pregunta with number three? Take a look at number three. What do we need to have at the beginning of number three? We have begin to study English when did you and the question mark. How do I make a question with all of these words? When did you when did when begin, did to, you study to, study when begin when to study English? When did you begin to study English? Exactly. So, to study English. First so, is exactly. W word. Mm -hmm. Second is the auxiliary, auxiliary, auxiliary. So is did. Third is the person. In this case, is you, and exactly. the last is the complement. So in this, this case, is what we study English. Exciting! Very good job, it is. So whenever we have a wh word like number one. What are yeah. we going to place at the beginning? The WH word. What do we are going, what do we need then? The auxiliary. If I don't have, in this case, a WH word, what am I going to place at the beginning? Si no tengo una, una WH word, 
si no la tengo, ¿qué voy a poner al inicio? Did, ¿ok? But as you may see, this exercise is all about WH words. Because in all of them, I have this type of expressions. So, yes, you need to include this word at the beginning. Word, how, wind. Number four, wind. So, this is in order for you to have these expressions correctly. Very good job. So let's find out what we have here. Oh, I like this activity. We are going to have a lot of conversation today. Let me ask you, do you still or do you remember your school days? School days, school days. Do you still remember your school days? Back in the time when you were studying Probably at the university or maybe high school or school. Do you still remember those days? Yes or no? No, yes. remember. No, right? So, no, yes. Yes, yeah, you do. Okay. Yes, yes. yes. The yes. class is I mean, in common. The university now. Oh, How that's. What do you say, bachillerato oh, okay. teacher? High school, high school. High school. High school. I remember high my high school. school. Remember. So in case that you don't remember about high school or your days at um, the, the university, we can remember or we can easily remember about the first job experience. Do you remember your first job? Yes or no? no. Many girlfriends. Yes, <laughs> yes. Oh, yeah. Interesting. I remember this. Do you remember that? Because yeah, I said it, tell me. But... <laughs> I don't know. You're the ones who are telling me, right? So, Todo you. Lo de novio. Eso es lo que recuerda. Come on, class. Good experiences, les digo yo. Buena experiencia. So, how was. How was. In my school, it is bad, bad experience. <laughs> Really? Your first day of classes, si se acuerdan todavía de high school, or we can also say how was. Your first day at work. The recent work, the one that you have right now. Yes, I remember. Desde kinder, teacher. No, come on. I, I don't remember. I don't even remember. So, how was it? Um, teacher, uh -huh. Uh -huh. I got, I was a nervous. Really? Yes. What? In my first day in university. And um, what the different the work. Okay. Uh, different uh, teachers, um, classes, um, and Compañeros, no sé, no Class recuerdo cómo se dice compañero. Ah, uh, yes, classmate. Ok. Es diferente. Room, nombre roommate. Classmate. No, no como es. Okay. Classmate. Yeah. Classmate. Uh -huh. uh, es un es world different. Yes, University. It is, right? It's a whole new world. Yes. So, at, the, at the high school, yeah. um, 13 class the different materials um university a five uh five okay five um classes uh, classes yeah. or subjects classes yes so it's, it's different. different it's different so my, let's, my, yeah tell me i'm going to start my caring. first day of class in my high school okay what it was um dark wow. many people stranger really so you but didn't have friends in the first day of classes and the first day no you didn't have friends okay so alone you were very alone. alone alone okay interesting so do you see we are practicing the simple past you're giving me information about situations in the past 
So let's talk about the second question. What was your experience in your first day of work? Your actual work or actual job. El trabajo que tienen ahorita. Do you still remember your first day at work? Give me your information using the simple past. Okay? Who wants to tell me? Or if you want, I can begin with my example. You can listen to it and then you are going to practice. So my, but my actual job, you know, as of right now, I'm working in a company that is from United States. You now, my boss, all my co-workers are from United States, but I work here in El Salvador. So I do a virtual job. I stay home. I work with my computer all day. And I also teach some classes during the day. This is my second job. This is my second job. So, you know, I come uh, from this experience. I was working in a school, a private school, and I stayed there for 10 years working in the same place. But then during the pandemic, well, no, last year, I decided that I didn't want to continue in the same place. I wanted to try something different. So I got this opportunity to work from home, to work online, and I really liked it, right? So the first day working from home, it was, um, it, it was not good. I didn't like my job at the beginning because I was scared of having, you know, uh, to talk to my boss, to my coworkers, you know, uh, through a computer because I, I, I don't know them. I haven't met them face to face. So it was very scary. I didn't like my job at the beginning. But now, yes, of course I enjoy it. I enjoy my, my job, I enjoy teaching. So I can say that this was a very good decision that I took, right? So that is my experience. Let me listen about you. What is your experience? Usemos los verbos en pasado. Eso voy a estar escuchando ahorita, verbs in past. Por lo menos dos estudiantes, two volunteers, and then we are going to work in groups. Go class, two volunteers only. Los que tengan cámaras apagadas. Yes, ¿Le hacemos. Yes. Yes, dice, ah, come on. No, no estamos mal. Ok, bueno, ahí están encendiendo. Mira. Seguramente ni están, ni están en físico, teacher. <laughs> no, ok, so let's see. Let me listen to you. How about you, Sonia? What is your experience? Do you still remember your first day at work? <laughs> I I remember my first uh, job. Mm -hmm. um, I did uh, go. Mm -hmm. I did go uh, uh, very. Uh, how do you say lejos? <laughs> far. Far in my my first job. Okay. Um, I I uh, I live I live in San Salvador, and my first job uh, I did go La Unión. Okay, you went to La Unión. Está bien así. I, I went. Ajá, uh -huh. I went La Unión. Oh, imagine so you are from San Salvador in in your first day you went to La Unión. Wow, that was really yeah. far. <laughs> Very good job. Aluli, please. <laughs> Excellent, Sonia. Um, yes, teacher. My first job was on the radio, the University Tecnológica. Okay. Next, give me more information. Um, I. I I was a director 
uh, the programmation, uh -huh. the, the music. Really? Um, yes. Um, on, uh, I am. Um, no, I was. I was. Uh, I was um, only woman in other radio. Okay. Imagine. In, yes. I love you and working in radio. I am the Jake. Okay. Yes. Wow, interesting. We didn't know that information from you. So you okay. see, excellent. You did an excellent good, excellent use of verbs in past. Very good. So you see, try to express yourself. In this case, talking about previous experiences. So the activity that we have for today it's about school days and we have some vocabulary you can add let me see in the case that you have your notebook you can write this information there or you can even memorize this information let's listen and then we are going to have the same exercise as a practice here we go Hi everyone, in this class you'll learn vocabulary for discussing school. Let's get started by listening and practicing. Classes History Math Physical Education Science Schools College Elementary High Junior High Places Classroom, gym, lunchroom, playground. Now, I would like for you to do a couple of things. First, I would like for you to categorize the vocabulary into three different sections. Classes, schools, and places. For example, under places you can add classroom. Then, I would like for you to ask and answer questions in the past using the vocabulary that we just learned. For example, where did you go to elementary school? What were your favorite subjects in high school? Try to make as many questions and answers as possible. After you finish this activity, share your work in our discussion forums. There we go. So look, I have the same information right here and you can also find this information in your student's book. Look, this is my presentation. How many words do we have? Uh, let me count them. Uh, 12, 12 new words in the vocabulary. So the first step of this activity is to complete the word map or to identify, classify all of these expressions into the correct category, category side, right? So I have classes, type of schools, and places. Number one, the one that I have here as the number one is auditorium. Then cafeteria. College. Computer lab. Elementary school. Geography, high school, history, library, middle school, physical education, and science. science. Science, science. So you see, I have so many words in the vocabulary. So let's discuss and let's let's give some definition about this one. Do you know the difference about elementary school, high school, and middle school? What is the difference between these three concepts? Mm -hmm. What is elementary, high school, or middle school in El Salvador? Elementary. Elementary is lo básico. Kinder. Básico. Uh -huh. High school, eh, high school, yo sería bachillerato, y middle school es séptimo, octavo y noveno. Ah, so, 
elementary school. Did you say kinder? I don't think so. A sexto. Uh, oh, Básico. Básico. First grade. De primero a sexto. A sexto. Uh -huh. So try to express that in English. Kinder. From first grade to sixth grade. Sixth grade. Yes. First to sixth grade. Sixth grade. Despacio. Más right. despacio. Elementary. How about Elementary. middle school? Middle school. Middle school. It goes from the seven seven to, from seven to to night 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 right 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 very good great and how about ele no high school high school I'm sorry um yes high, high school. school yes. How can I say first year? Ten. 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 Two. Twelfth. So sometimes it's to eleventh or twelve. Yes. No, twelve. Ah, no. See, eleventh. Sometimes it's twelve. Uh, some twelve is third. Yeah, in some of the cases we have up to twelve. Yeah. Twelve is technique. Exactly. The technical Technicals. technical okay. studies, right? So after this we have a superior level. Superior level. So it means university. So very good job. So you see extra vocabulary. How about this one? Give me a definition for Qualera. I forgot it. It's not computer. Uh, this one physical education hmm? educación physical. física okay. so in english it is very popular to express this as a de pe class mm -hmm. así le llaman pe class or instead of saying physical education Americans mostly express the PE class or physical education class. So this is just extra information. Very good job. So we're going to work in groups right now so you can discuss about this type of vocabulary and you can place the words into the correct category. Is it clear what we're going to do right now? Yes, yes. So I'm going to send this information to WhatsApp right now. Let's have groups of three and groups of four. So just give me a second. Okay, here we go. Very good. Just give me a second. Okay. I'm just missing Gladys, Wilson, and Marina. Very good. Type of school. Okay. Classes. 
Primero las mencionamos, cómo, cómo se... Alvin. Sí, sí, sí. Let's do it tomorrow, okay? Hi, teacher. The teacher is here. Hi, I'm here. <laughs> how, I was how just checking the platform. Yes, so. How the pronunciation geography mm -hmm. or yes. Geography. 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 Uh -huh. And we also, we also have the word geographic. Ambas tenemos en inglés, but in this case it's geography. The subject. Geography. It is, it is geography. Geographic as national geography. Uh -huh. Exactly. We have geographic. But in this case it's geography. This is a noun. And it is in order to refer to a subject or a class. So this is okay. geography. Yes. Geography. Mm -hmm. And then what is the difference between history and story? As in Toy Story. Okay. Example. History, it can be an event. An event that has happened, you know, many years ago. Like a historic event, an event, right? For, for example, the word, the second word, or those type of events, right? And story with S at the beginning, it can be something that we are telling people. For example, I'm going to tell you my story about the first day of classes. It's something that I'm going to invent or I'm going to give you information about me. But the okay. other one with H is something that it so happened can, many years ago. Yes. I can talk about oh, about the, the story of my life. It's of course. Important. No, it's okay. It's okay. Story because my, yes, because this life. is um, this type of information is like officially, and you are not going to change that information. You know, it's como información oficial que no puede cambiar, pero en las historias. Podemos inventar, meterle a ciertas cosas que se nos pueden olvidar a veces. Por eso le llamamos historia, history. Es como un cuento, right? History. ¿No? Story. La pronunciación okay. incluso es diferente. History, story. ¿No? There we go. Very good ¿Y job. la forma que se escribe es igual? No, it's different. Uh -huh. Story, S. S. -T. Uh -huh. S T O R Y and the other mm -hmm. one history is with H at the beginning H I S T O R Y history mm -hmm. so exactly whenever you don't know a definition in English uh, my recommendation is for you to go Look for the definition and write the definition in English and try to make a sentence using that new word so you cannot forget about that information and you also have extra vocabulary, right? Right. Interesting. Thanks a lot. No, Thank you. It's my pleasure. Continue working, guys. Okay. Um, and classes. Yes. I'm yes, finished. Yes. Finished, teacher. How do you know that I'm here? Hmm? I was coming in silence like this. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> the teacher is here, right? So, questions about vocabulary? No? Um, the computer lab place? The computer lab place. <laughs> What is that? I, no, it's class. 
Es el laboratorio de, como que si fuera centro de cómputo. Mm -hmm. Yes, this is not a class, this is a place. Exactly. So, what is the class? What class do we receive in the computer lab? What oh, is the okay. class? ¿Cuál clase recibimos in the computer lab? Um, uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> o sea, es, ¿qué? Uh, program de, program de How computer. Do How do we call that in Spanish? Um, Nelson, any yes. idea? What is the class that we receive in the computer lab? Uh, uh, web design. Okay, maybe. Mm -hmm. Web design. Uh, 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 but in this case, as we are talking as school days, Estamos hablando de la escuela. So, what type of classes did you receive in this? In that, in that Basing day? of the program. Okay. Oh, you see. Or how to use the computer, how to use. The software. I had the software of the computer. So, that's that's good. Good. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so okay. we can call it computer class. Mm -hmm. Okay. okay. Uh, yes, Maria. All class. All class. It was a computer lab. Ah, so you see? It you have that type of lab. Lab. Interesting. So, there we go. You see, you can have a whole conversation about these topics just with a single word. So, interesting. Okay. So, did you finish, guys? Yes. Now, let's come back. Let's go back to the, the main room. Here we go. Gladys, what happened to you, Gladys? Did you have problems? Hi. Oh, it's because of the internet, I guess. There we go. She's gone. So let's come back so we can check the vocabulary. So you know, class, it's about to rain here. It's about to rain, to start raining here. So hopefully I'm not gonna have problems with my computer today or with my internet connection okay okay star in caso que me desconecte no se vayan yo regreso okay so let's check the vocabulary here we go veamos classes how many examples do i need to include in classes four four expressions or four words classes let me ask Geography. Nelson, is give history? me your examples. No. Oh, okay, I'm sorry, Lily. Uh, Nelson, give me your examples. Classes. Classes. Yeah. Um, mm, sería geography. Geography, okay. History. History, very good. Physical education and science. Very good job. Very good job. Types of <clears throat> schools. Karina, types of schools. Um, auditor, uh, perdón, uh, college. Okay. Uh, elementary school. Mm -hmm. High school and middle school. Um, the rest of the class, do you have the same examples or do you have a different one? Mm -hmm. What is college then? What is college? Sería compañeros. Mm -hmm. University. Look at the category. The category is type of schools. Ah, type of school. So what is college? Pero parvularia. Are you sure? College. University. Exactly. Superior education. Exactly. Superior level. Mm -hmm. So universidad. Yes, we also call it college. College. Exactly. Very good job, class. College. Yes, college. I'm going to college right now. Um, I'm at college right now. 
Very good job. Play says, play says, let's find out. Play says, Aleli, please. Do you want to participate? Play Auditorium. Yes. Cafeteria, library, and computer lab. Okay, let's repeat this one. Cafeteria. 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 Ajá, me sonó bien. Español, cafetería, no, that is Spanish. Cafeteria, yes. yes. Cafeteria. Yeah, okay. please. Computer lab. Computer lab. And? Um, That's it, right? No, we are missing library, one. Li library. Library. Auditorium. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Library. So what is a library in Spanish? Josué, library. What is a library? What yeah, can yeah, I yeah. get there? Are you sure? What can I get in a library? Or what library. things can I buy? Yes. ¿Qué es mm. library cards? What is that? Ayuda, ayuda, que me han... Biblioteca. Me ayuda, han... ayuda, ayuda, clase. Biblioteca. Oh, biblioteca. biblioteca. So how do we say librería in English? Sorry, teacher. Bookshop. Bookshop. <laughs> Or? Bookshop. Bookstore. 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 So, exactly. Don't confuse Bookstore. library and bookstore. Those are very different places, right? In the library, you can go, read some books, get some information from that place, but not get or buy the books, right? No los compramos. So, very good job. Now that we have this information, we are going to ask your classmates about this type of questions. Let me see. Per work. Find out about your partner's elementary, middle, or high school days. Ask these questions, then you are going to give me that information about your classmates. Number one, what classes did you take? What classes did you take? Aquí mencionan las materias, ¿ok? Language, social studies, math, English class, French class, or any other type of class. Number two. Nelson, can you read number two, please? Okay. What was your favorite class? Oh, what was your favorite class? Excellent. Walter, can you read number three, please? What classes didn't you like? Why not? Oh, imagine. What classes didn't you like? English class, you're going to say, right? No, no, please, don't say that. Fernando, can you read number four? Okay. Who was your best friend? Oh, interesting. Who was your best friend? Zaira, continue, please. Okay, Maria Lucila, continue, please. Who was your favorite teacher? Why? Who was your favorite teacher and why? Jessica Presa, continue, please. Where did you spend your free time? Why? Where did you spend your free time? In the cafeteria, in the football field, in the classroom, I don't know, you tell me, where did you spend your free time? Kimberly, continue, please. What was a typical day of a school like? Okay, what was a typical day of a school like? For example, eh, we got to the school, we have classes and then we have the break and then, I don't know. Try, try to give some ideas about the typical day, un día normal in the school, right? And the last one, Josué, please. Read this one. Uh, what did you like about school? Oh, what didn't you like about my school or your school? My school was very small. I didn't like the teachers from my school. I didn't like my classmates from that school. Try to give me some details, okay? 
Let's go working groups. I'm going to send this information so you can talk to your classmates. Listen to your classmates, please, okay? Listen carefully to your classmates. That's why we are going to work in pairs. So you can find out about your classmates information. This is the second activity for today. There we go. There we go. Okay. Go class. Talk to your classmates. Very good. There we go. Very good. El grupo. Okay. Veamos ahorita, creo que lo acaba de enviar. Vamos a ver. Um... Uh-huh. What? Wow. Yes, I'm here. Este, lo, es que no me quedó muy en claro que estas preguntas las vamos a practicar o las vamos a responder. Uh, right now, just practice. Tomorrow, we are going to finish with this activity because of the time. Just try to talk to your classmates about these questions, okay? Okay. Yeah. Go. Okay. So, so I'm going I'm going to be here listening to you girls. Gracias. Bueno, entonces la primera sería what class did you take? What class did you take? Uh-huh. Vamos a repetir primero todas ustedes y después yo. ¿Cómo? Sí. sí, solo quiero ver qué, qué significa porque no sé todo. ¿Qué do clases you, do you need help? ¿Qué clases tomaste? Ah, remember that we are talking about elementary, middle school or high school days. Nuestra experiencia uh -huh. en eso, sí. Middle school, high school. Por eso nos pregunta, what classes did you take? Depende de lo que ustedes elijan. Si yo elijo la universidad, college, o si elijo high school, traten de recordar, what classes did you take? Y vemos okay. los ejemplos, ¿ok? Great. Ah, okay. Okay. Sí. What class did you take? De Bioelegir High School. Ajá. Sería computer. Ajá. Mamá. Sí, mi amor. Mamá. Science. Science, creo que es ciencia. Ah. Uh, like, quiero ver. Guy. Science. <laughs> science. science. Um, science, um, física, biología, and <laughs> no sé. No. I don't know. <laughs> ¿Y por qué no? ¿Y por qué no? Te sabría decir por qué no. Because not. It is what it is. <laughs> Exactamente. Okay. Mm, interesting. <laughs> Why? Because no, I don't have a reason. Very good job. <laughs> ¿Por qué no, teacher? No tengo una explicación ante eso. <laughs> okay. Excellent. Se lo ha reflejado ahí en mis notas también. <laughs> oh, interesting. Yes. Yeah, guys. Okay, continue. My, don't worry. My class <laughs> didn't like is math. I hate the numbers. I hate the numbers. A mí sí, ¿por qué a ti no? <laughs> <laughs> bueno, no, eran diferentes. No. 
no Next. te gustan. I don't like, I don't like numbers. No, I don't like the numbers. Uh oh. No sé. I don't know. Hello, teacher. Continue. <laughs> you, I'm not here. I'm not here. I was. I was. Uh, no. I don't know. Daniel. How was your best friend? Mm -hmm. ¿Quién fue tu mejor Gugas. amigo? Gugas. Gugas es eh, como quien fue, fue tu fue? mejor amigo. ¿Quién fue tu mejor amigo? Mm -hmm. Así es. Uh, I don't know. No, no remember. No remember. No remember today. Pero le podrías poner el chico. Eh? Sería el chico más callado. <laughs> uh, no. Un ejemplo. Yo era, yo, era, yo era el duque de la clase. Ah, no te creo. Sí. Era, era, era. I don't believe on that. No, because in my class you are the most talkative. <laughs> ¿Qué no, en mi clase? So, no, so. no, no. No, no. Uh, uh, <laughs> back in the, in the high no, school. No, no, but, but it's today. That ah, ok. <laughs> so... <laughs> Yeah, I don't believe on that. Yo creo que esto no ha cambiado. But no, I, I'm gonna believe, you know? Yeah, right? Can I, can I say, can I say, no, my, my, my best friend was, yes. was my girlfriend. Yes, of course. My best friend was, exactly, my girlfriend. That's my it. girlfriend. Mm -hmm. That's it. Oh, yes. Oh, yeah. Yes. Wow, interesting. Pasamos al segundo paso. <laughs> Second level. <Vamos. laughs> Second. Ah, is your oh, wife? Oh, interesting. Is your wife? No, no, no. Oh, no. No, no, no. no. You, didn't, you didn't have a happy ending. You didn't have a happy ending. So no. she, she was no, not for no. you. <laughs> she was not no, the no, one, no. right? So all right, all right, Jose. Let's go you, back. You, Let's go back to the main room. Your favorite teacher. Very good. I know <clears throat> that you were having a great time talking to your classmate. You see, it's very interesting to remember, you know, but because of the time, it is right. You were having fun and I was having fun. <laughs> really? <laughs> no, please don't cry, Jose. Don't cry. So you see. Teacher. Teacher, yeah. I have a question. Tell me, please. <laughs> okay. Because of your girlfriend. You were mentioning your girlfriend there. Okay. So, yes, please. What is your question? Uh, uh, why they say college, but no university? Okay, interesting. Why not university in college? Here we go. So let me give you some differences about college and university. Here we go. So um, what can I say? College or university, it refers to larger institutions, right? Instead of college, they refer to community like technical schools. ¿Cuál sería la diferencia acá entre una universidad y un lugar técnico? For example, ITCA, ITCA, is it a college or a university? College. It's a college. Ah, college. College. It's a college. It's like technical careers. Mm -hmm. And okay. university, it's a bigger place. And it has a bigger offer in careers, right? So that is the difference. Esa sería la diferencia. It's long careers. Yes. Teacher, it's long careers. Yeah, Every maybe. Time is different. Exactly. And the there is the the high, exactly. Mm -hmm. And for example, acá hay universidades también bien técnicas. ¿Han visto la um, universidad pedagógica en sí? Yes. 
ofrece que profesorados son más cortos. Profesorados, right? sí. Exactly. So, we can say that that is a college. Es muy similar a una universidad, pero universidad y universidad. Por ejemplo, ¿verdad? Ah, exactly. There we go. So, that is the difference. Ambos es, ambos es educación superior, las dos. Pero esa es la diferencia. Más técnico. Sure. Y... It's clear. Yes, very good. Yes, Fernando. O oh, who's a teacher? Yes. Ya, yeah, pasó, yeah. ya pasó lista. ¿Ya pasó know. lista? No. <laughs> no. No. Thank you, Fernando. No. Thank you. Class, <laughs> you don't tell me thank you, Fernando. <laughs> I thought I was. Oh, no. So, this is the last activity, I promise. To check the attendance list. I didn't remember about this. And this is very important. No, I don't think. I, I have interest in this class. Yes. You very were, interesting. You were even crying, you say. <laughs> Come on. What's up, teacher? What's the matter, teacher? You were, no, you know, there were some guys crying. No, don't cry, let me say Mañana vamos a terminar, no, no se preocupen, ¿ok? Tomorrow we're going to finish the activity. I know. Oh, oh no, right. The oh, no. <laughs> the baby. I the baby. like, I like your class. Really, ok. Aleli Concepción, say here or present. Say present. Say present. Ana, Ana Stephanie. Present. Para el otro módulo, teacher. Really? Okay, I can ask for this group. Chicos, estoy tomando la asistencia. Say here or present para que quede en el video. <laughs> no, eso no. Aleli, say present, please. Present, teacher. And Stephanie. <laughs> present. Uh, Cesar, Alexander. And here, please. Ya le voy a contar lo que estaba diciendo Cesar. Elvis. No. No, I right? Was, okay, no. <laughs> <laughs> Fernando <No>. Arturo. <laughs> Present. Very good. Herson. Present. Present. There we go. Is it Gladys. Really? Is it really? Gladys Elizabeth. <laughs> Gladys is gone. No? It is Elena. Yeah. Here, Miss. Irma Raquel. Gladys has to connected. Yeah, right. Sí, Gladys was, estuvo. Yes, no, ahí está, here. teacher, quizás no escucha. Ahí ah, está. Okay, okay. Sí, María porque López. estuvo en el mismo. Aquí está abajo de Nelson. Bien. Y le cuesta. No, no, no. Yo que tenía problemas de conexión. Escuchar. Tiene problemas, quizás, porque ahí no. está, abajo. Está abajo de Nelson la veo yo. No sé si a usted le aparece ahí. Está Igual. Jessica en la clase. ¿Es Jessica en la clase? Así sí los puedo ver. Jessica, yes or no? She was in the class, right? Oh, wait. Aquí estamos. Josué. Josué Neftali. Kimberly Janet. Present. Maria Lucila. I'm here. Marina del Carmen. Present. Nelson Rolando. Present. Nurian Karina. Present. Pablo Reyes. But he was here, right? Rebecca Eunice. Rosemary Beatriz. Roxana Beatriz. Present. Sonia Guadalupe. Present, teacher. Walter Alexander. Present. Wilson Alejandro. Present teacher. Yes. Jessica Marilu. Good teacher. And Saira Jamilet. Present. Present. So class. Aquí estamos. So we are going to stop the class here. And we are going to see you tomorrow. The last day of classes, right? But no, 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 no. ¿Qué dijo César? ¿Qué dijo César? No, no. No, please, please.
No, no, no. no. Queda suspenso, queda suspenso para, para el próximo episodio. Mañana les digo. Tomorrow, tomorrow, tomorrow. Ok, bye bye. Bye bye. Se lo pierde claro. por la misma hora y por el mismo canal. Bien, bye bye. Ok. Everyone. Bye bye, claro. Secreto, secreto de Estado, picha. Yeah, Eso no, no escuchó mi historia. Oh, no. So, no como fue, Nectali. <laughs> Eso que no escuchó, le di mi historia, no porque le hubiera llorado también. Ándale, ah, órale. Ya no fue a Leli, ya se fue a Leli. Ya se fue a Leli, no porque ahí estuviera. Dale, Leli. Qué bueno.